Hey y'all, this episode of Gay Side Stories will be a complete mess because we are drinking what? Whiskey and Coke. <laughs> <laughs> we decided to go brown today. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Mm. Add to that a shot of, what do we have? A shot of peach. Sit. We had peach vodka because I got this peach vodka bottle I've been trying to get rid of for about a year. <laughs> <laughs> and then we had cinnamon whiskey. Mm. So we just been mixing it all up, just mixing it all up, so mixing like, it all around, mm. mix it all around. All right, <laughs> welcome to another episode of Gay Side Stories, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Hey, I y'all. am your host Trillificent, and I'm your other host Chillshire. As always, you can find out more about us and our show at GaySideStories.com. If you haven't already, please do us a favor and subscribe on SoundCloud or iTunes. Or, or Stitcher. Or Google Play Music. Because it's all there for it's you. It's all there. And if you like the show, hopefully you do. And you will share it. And rate. And subscribe. And comment. Mm, yeah. That was great. <laughs> Wonder Twin Powers. Right. Former <laughs> gay ass niggas. Right. <laughs> um, yeah. So this week uh, in Trill Minds, I have something real quick. Uh, I'm not really gonna get into it because it's uh, like it's, a big duh, but there was it's an, on the site. It's on the site too, also as well. Um, there was an article written uh, out of Britain or the UK, whatever they call themselves these days, um, that said churches driving gay and bi people to suicide warns a major Christian charity. Um. Duh. Thanks for playing. Like, thanks. We right. we already we right. knew that. Um, however, the reason why I wanted to highlight it is not only because it went well with today's episode called Baptist Bays mm-hmm. or Church Ladies. Oh God. <laughs> oh, um, um, but also just because the fact that it was written, you know, I think mm-hmm. says something that it was written that it needed to be written. Um. That'll be on the website for you guys. You can click on that and read more about it. And yeah, that was Trill Minds this week. And you can always go on the website and read it. Yep. 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 So, so Trill. Um, so this week. How what is your school in life? How did you get through this week? Okay, so this week has been an interesting week. Um, but my school and life for this week is basically I've been on baby watch with my good friend, my bestie, Texas Hummingbird, aka Nikki. Um, so I spent a lot of time with her this week. Mm-hmm. Of course, we had a great time because we always have a great time together. Right. Love you, girl. Can't wait for that, baby. <laughs> and uh, that was that. And um, in between that, I I've been doing a lot of um. Soul searching, I guess you could okay. call it. That's always fun. Um, really just fun. really, uh, but from a creative aspect. Okay. Um, I don't know what it was that kind of sparked it, but I've and I've had this itch for a while. You that getting I, back into writing? Y'all don't know this man's an author sitting across yes. from me. Yes. So I've been kind of thinking. You know what it was? I do know what it was. When, <laughs> like, he can write the fuck out of a book. Like, so this is what happened. I was read reading. I was watching um, the Oscars. Okay. And when it came to Best Picture, you got a movie in your mind. No, 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 I take that back. I wasn't watching it. I was watching it via Twitter. Do I need to get my acting chops together? <laughs> Let me finish. <laughs> I was watching it via Twitter because okay. I refuse to give them any of my ratings, even mm-hmm. though I don't have one of them boxes. Fuck y'all. Um, and so when I saw all the tweets start saying La La Land. I literally shut everything off and went to bed because I was like, y'all fucking tried that. Of course, when I woke up the next morning, I found out that Moonlight actually won Best Picture. Right. They <laughs> found out. Yeah, That's they right. found out the way I found out. They <laughs> the found out way. seven hours later. Right. And after so. Steve Harvey had said, oh, the winner is uh, listen, La La Land. But after no, it's Steve really Harvey picked Moonlight. up his mustache out of the, out of the dishwasher. And you know what? Super he probably glued. got that mustache in the dishwasher for real. That is a bristle brush. You can so use funny. that to clean the grout in your kitchen. Oh my god! Quote me, bitch. 
So um, after I saw that, I don't know. I just felt really inspired, and I've been feeling like. You know, you get that feeling where whatever the force that you believe in, the, the universe, God, Buddha, Yoda, whatever it is that you feel like is trying to push you towards something. Mm -hmm. I've been feeling that for a while. Like, I'm he feeling the push. He feeling the push. Listen. He feeling it. I'm so excited. And um, so I've really been racking my brain with what is it that I need to do. I feel like there's something. And plus, you know, you and I have been talking for years right. about. Or rather, we've been complaining about not seeing the things that right. that we want to see. Right. And you know what everybody said? Well, you don't see it. You, don't, you need to write it yourself. Yeah. And this nigga can write. So, let's so go um, you know, I've been thinking about trying to rebrand my writing okay. name and learn how to maybe write scripts. And Because actually one of the ideas that popped into my head was something like a... I feel a YouTube series coming across. That was exactly... We are so insane! Yes! <laughs> so, you know, I've just been really, really, you know, kind of racking my brain with what is it? Because there's something, I just don't know what it is. And I felt that way for like the past, since like May. Mm-hmm. Um, and with other things that are going on in my life or not going on, I feel like this is the time, the time to do to go it. ahead and do it. Okay. And I really need to put the effort into it. So Come between on. Baby Watch, that's what I've been doing. That's cool. So I what is your it. schooling life for the week? So School. this week has actually been a I'm repeat a freak of last week. All night. I've still been coloring, but okay. I have graduated from like regular coloring, mm -hmm. like regular little pictures to like posters. So my manager bought these posters and she was like, Jamie, I want you to color one. And like the one I've been working on, is like a lion, but the lion is like individually done with like different leaves. So I made the lion blue and then I colored like the background, like an orange. It looks really good. So what I'm doing now is like, it's, it should be finished by the time the show is up. So we'll have it up on the site on Instagram or whatever. Mm -hmm. But it's like, I did the background in like reds and oranges. And then like the lion is like blue. It looks good. Like it looks really good. Y'all excuse that. That's the um, air. You know, I, you know, I stay right ten minutes from the airport. Mm. Hey, friends! If y'all come, if y'all come, friends! Us, if y'all leaving, leaving. <laughs> we're so stupid. Oh, but yeah, that's so my cool. school of life this week has been that. Besides me having this problem with my wisdom teeth, because at thirty three they decide they want to say, "Hey, bitch, we are here and we're about to break your life apart." My wisdom teeth have is coming through, and I have been on all the pills, mm. and all the weed, mm. and all the alcohol because I can't deal. Yikes! Um, oh, also, I've been reading. I've been. I decided to to get back into reading, and okay. I um, there was uh, my friend I've been reading too. Buck I've been... Wild Belinda on Twitter. I think it's Buck Wild Belinda. She she read the Harry Potter books for the mm -hmm. first time, so I've been rereading them. Okay. Um, I seen somebody ask you. They was like, "Don't tell me you just not." Read. I was like, "You know, this niggas has read Harry Potter's fifty thousand times." Don't do my friend. My friend. I loves think this Harry is Potter. probably only. The, I think this is the second time I've ever read the books all the way through. But you've read the books. But I've read the books. Right. And I've watched the movies. Because I have both of movies. my best friends read Harry Potter. That's the one thing they have in common that I don't have in common with them. You know, different strokes for different folks. I, mean, I, but, I might get into it though, because I love books like that. You know, I like I like fantasy. I like right. sci-fi. You know, I like all that kind of stuff. I have an idea up. for that, and I don't know what it's going to be. I'm going to buy a Nintendo Switch. Switch just for the Zelda. Wait, which Switch? I'm not. I'm not. I met him at the bookstore. I'm not. <laughs> I like that song. That's a whole ass song, but I like that song. Oh. Okay, so let's move on. So this week, we are talking about Baptist Bay. Church Queens! Let me stop. <laughs> <laughs> so with that, I think that you should start us off. Okay, well, mine's going to be like the flip of what he's going to talk about. So let's not start it. Let me start it off. Okay. So, Baptist Bay. Bay of the Baptist. Baptist. Okay, so if you didn't know. My family is very rooted in the church, like super rooted in the church. My dad's a pastor. My mom's a first lady, but she doesn't act like one. She's more like a first sailor. Love you, mom. And, um, okay. So I will consider this saying that I was the Baptist Bay. Oh, 
Ooh. not me going to find the Baptist Bay, but Ooh. I was the Baptist Bay. So, at one point in time, I was really into church. I was like, okay, remember when I was used to be in the choir? Listen. And I used to go to choir rehearsal every he was Wednesday. Into the church. Like, I was really in there. He but at the there. same time, I was talking to somebody and we were trying to make our relationship work. This would be, um, how do I, Lady E? <laughs> he called it. Okay, so we're good. Now we're on the same page. So, me and Lady E talked for a long time. <laughs> yeah, Lady E. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I got him Mark right here. So that second shot's kicking in, too. but that has always taken me down. That always does take him down because he knows the real name that will be called Lady E. But me and Lady E were were like having no because every time you say Lady E, I think Sheila E. <laughs> Y'all should see me doing my Sheila E. Anyway, oh. So when me and Lady E were talking, I can't say that name no more. We, um, everything was cool. We would hang out all the time. Um, we were actually having a great relationship. But at one point in time, Lady E got mad at me because Lady E found out that I was talking to, that I used to talk to their best friend years before we talked. Remember? Um, I think right. I remember that guy. So, he but I didn't know like, I didn't know they were friends, so it wasn't like I was jumping from friend to friend, which is, that was one of the people I used to talk to when I was younger, and we actually had a really good relationship, too. So, because the community, even fun. though Houston is a huge city, I think when you like a certain kind of guy, you kind of talk the to community yeah. is small as fuck. So, um, when I Slim found out pickings. that they were friends, I tried to tell Lady E, hey, I used to talk to your friends. And Lady E was like, oh, I know all about that. So I was like, okay, so we're really good. Know? Do we're you really, good. really know? So then like a few weeks passed, Lady E was like, I can't believe that you did this with my friend and this and this. But I said, I tried to tell you that I used to talk to your friend in this way. And, but you knew all about it. But now it's a problem. But anyway. While extra, talking to, extra, read all about while it. I, was, I fucked your friend. While I was talking to Lady E, this is back in my top days. <laughs> air uh, quotes uh, no I really was a top of lady air quotes no I was a top back then sure. no for real sure. I was a how, I'm not going to say that mm. so no <laughs> <laughs> trash <laughs> garbage so, rubbish yeah, y'all won't get that Um. so me and lady E we were talking we used to go out to the movies every weekend we would we both lived at home with our parents, so we used to, like, get hotels and, like, stay there for the weekend or whatever. It was a fun relationship. It was pretty cool. Well, I started going to church. This is where we're going back to where we, the reason why we're on this story. So when I'm going to church, my friends started having, like, prayer parties on Saturday nights, which would cut into me and Lady E's time. And Lady E would get mad because I decided that I wanted to give my life to God halfway Mm-hmm. And um, I wanted to be at church with my church people. And then I still would see Lady E when I saw Lady E. Well, everything was cool, but Lady E was getting mad. And me and Lady E would fight because I was going to church. Yes, like Lady E would get mad. So then. Such strange things to get. Just to be just a trash ass nigga that I am. Because you are that. My ex. Decided that hey, let me hit Jamie up. Jamie is me, y'all. Y'all know that. And um, see what's going on with them. So y'all know that relationship that I always cry about on here because we have had eight episodes and I have cried two times, which is twenty five percent of the episodes. Your ass be boo the hell on. So that person um hit me up. This is before we had got back together the last time, and was like, "What are you doing? What are you up to? I want to see you." Do y'all know I just broke up with Lady E and was like, um, I don't feel that we should be together anymore. I'm giving my life to God. I was actually Quote giving unquote. my bus to somebody else. Yes, you were. 
And um, we can't do this anymore. Because I didn't want to cheat on Lady E. I just with didn't want to be with, with Lady E. With a wrapped on it. Here you go. And Surprise present for you. We broke up. Surprise, boots. And then I ended up getting back with the worst person I have ever been with in my entire life. Ever. Ever. Listen. And I blame it on Jesus. I feel- <laughs> <laughs> because I did break up with Lady E for the church. Because I decided that I was going to be, and I was so smooth with that breakup. Yes, um, we can't be together anymore because I need to just, I feel I, like. I like you a lot. But God! That's exactly how it was. But God! But God. But God. God has, has, I need to give my life to him and I can't be with you anymore. So let me go ahead and give my life to Jesus. That pussy is good. But God! And. But God. And we'll talk about that relationship later, but guess what? That was the shit I did, and the karma kicked my motherfucking ass. That was a a karma Chuck Norris roundhouse kick. So, gays, that's listening to the the gay side story. Give us the lessons. I'm just going to say. Give us the daddy lesson. Don't try to put your bullshit on Jesus. (laughs) Because he gonna show you who the fuck he is. <laughs> <laughs> That's what your ass did. <laughs> and I, but I tell y'all, you, I got re- every... you reaped what you sowed. Yes, I did. And really I can say did. this: like at this point in my life, me and Lady E are cool. Mm-hmm. We see each other out and about sometimes, and we might punch each other a little bit or play fight. But we're cool. We're friends on Facebook. We're good. Love I'll you, Lady E. I do. I do love Lady I don't think they even know that that's their nickname. <laughs> they don't need to. <laughs> they don't need to know I love them. Because I don't love them like I want to be with them. I just, you know, they're a cool person. Aww. We flirted and talked a little bit after that, but no. Nah. Mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. My life is in a whole different spot in mm-hmm. 2017. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my lord. The, the, <laughs> don't give him no more years because he gonna punch my black ass again. I I I think he showed you. He showed me who. Because it was five years ahead. It was. Do you hear me? Satan was sleeping in your. There was no stranger in your house. It was sure Satan. Wasn't. It wasn't no stranger. It was no stranger. Was we knew who my, that was. I slept in my bed with a knife up under my pillow. We knew who that was. He just magicked himself so that he did not have horns. And he was like, bitch, I'm going to show you using Jesus. As my Jesus. son. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah, mm-hmm. that's my mm-hmm. gay side story mm-hmm. this week. Really quick, really simple. But yeah. That is a hot ass funky moving mess. Is it my turn? Is it my turn? Is it my turn? Yes. It's my turn. Okay. <laughs> All right. So. I have a story for you guys. I like to call this story Mr. Methodist. I don't know if he was Methodist. It just works. It just works. <laughs> it just, it just sounds flows. Funny. You know, I'm all about the words and how they sound. So, Mr. Methodist, he could have been Catholic for all. Hell, he could have been atheist and loving. No, he wasn't atheist because that bitch was Hallelujah. <laughs> he let him tell you. Anyway. <laughs> So, um, I met this guy. I think I met him on A for A. I'm not 100% sure. Mm, but I'm Adam is for Adam when it comes to Jesus. Listen, Eve is left at the turnstile. Eve is outside. <laughs> Sweeping up the leaf. <laughs> she is on E for E. Ooh. Anyway, I'm pretty sure I met him on A for A. Um, and, you know, he was cool. We hung out a lot. Um, I think at the time I was... I wasn't in school, but I was working. Uh, I was when I was working full time. I was still living at home before the big incident, which you know we'll talk about maybe on the next episode. I don't quite remember. Episode ten is that the coming? I think so, but I don't know if I'm going to talk about. It. Anyway, okay. Um, and I realized early on he was one of those guys that was like. You know, I'm going to have dick in my left hand and I'm going to have a Bible in my right hand. Come on, dick and Bible. And I was just like, Bible uh, dick. But you know, I don't judge. I was just like, I mean, if that's what you want to do, that don't affect me. Who are me to judge? Who is me? Who are me to judge? Happy Thanksgiving. (laughs) (laughs) So, um, 
And the other thing was, he let me know on more than one occasion. He was like, you know, I don't see myself messing with dudes for the rest of my life. I don't see myself being quote unquote gay for the rest of my life. He's one of those men that's gonna try to marry some woman and then be fucking a man in the back of the. Church. I want a wife and kids, and I, you know, I just see myself with the family. And I was like, none of that has anything to do with me. So we are friends, Ross, Rachel. And the rest of them white bitches, we are friends. Mm. I don't care about none of that. My girlfriends, after thinking things. <laughs> we are so <laughs> stupid, y'all. I don't know why y'all listen to us. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, let him tell it. You know, he not, he wasn't trying to be gay for the rest of his life, and I didn't really. I'm care. only gay today. I'm not gay tomorrow. <laughs> Face ass. Mm-hmm. Um, we did. Kinda hook up once, but it wasn't really. It wasn't good, y'all. No, it wasn't a full fledged <laughs> hookup. It was a half a hook. It was a hook. like I don't like pants didn't even come off. Like shirts came pants off. Pants on the ground. Pants on the they ground. They were not on looking the like a fool with your pants up <laughs> and button <laughs> and zip. No I'm dangly sorry, bits over here. No oh dangly bits. Oh my goodness. Um, you I'm know, too drunk <laughs> <laughs> you know, because he was. I mean, you know, we did some stuff, but you know, he had been out and about all day, and you know, Trillificent is not about musty man cunt in his mouth. Like I don't. That is not my ministry. Now I'm not shaming anyone. If you like quote unquote natural sense, I don't. That is great. Put that shit in some motherfucking sauce. However, Trillificent likes Shire. for you to give your kibbles and bits a good rinse. A good me. I rent. need you fresh and clean. Fresh and clean. So fresh and so clean, clean. You know, so, uh, like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm remembering it, and I was like, you know. His chest, and I was like kissing on his, and it was like it was so salty. It was oh, like no, not salty chest. <laughs> you could have got you some French fries. Just slid him on there. And been it like, was like give eating me that salt. Give it me was that salt. like eating that water burger. Give That's that how salt. salty it was. Eating water burger, <laughs> bitch, <laughs> bitch, bitch. For my Houston people, or anyone who's eating water burger, you know exactly what the fuck I mean. Water burger is delicious, but is the fuck salty? Your feet will swell like Man. fucking boats. You, that's why I get onion rings instead of fries when I go. It ain't just shit. It ain't just the, the fries. Meat. The meat be salty. The as meat fuck. be salty. As but fuck. just to get away from that added salt, I'd be like, "Bitch, give me some onion rings." But instead his of fries. meat, his his chest meat was salty, and I was just like, "Wait, Ooh. wait, y'all, y'all don't want to ask it. Did he have taco meats?" I don't remember. I think a little bit. Not really. Come on, Because you know, at the time, <laughs> Taco Bell. Because you know, at the time, that was before. You know, I was like, you know, at the time, I was like, body hair is just not. Oh yeah, you used to hate body hair. Like he probably would shave you if he had the chance. If I could. <laughs> if I could, I'd like to be. A great big movie star. Let me stop thinking about Crooklyn. Listen, because that's my movie. But I've, I've grown and matured, and you know, a little bit is okay. Some of y'all, you know, my current. Some of you Teen Wolf people. He's a Teen Wolf. There are people that love and you, I and I support I them. I'm not. It depends on the man. Anyway, I'm off topic. <laughs> so, um,. Beyond that, and I don't even really know how that quote unquote hookup, which I don't know if that counts as a hookup. Like, I don't. It was a. Right. It, it was a hook, but it was a. Right. It was almost it was just a hook, the H.O. without the ho sound. Without the ho sound, but it's a. Mm-hmm. Even though that was back in my whole days. Mm. There's a back in the whole days, not a current whole days. That's funny. <laughs> That is so funny because only one of us has been getting that whole worked out, and it ain't been me. Anyway, so you know, I never really, um, I never really took him serious in that. You know, I was just, it just wasn't, it just wasn't. Um, however, there were two incidents that culminated into three strikes mm. that I was like, you know what, I'm actually quite done with you. Mm. So. In no particular order. The first thing, it was a Walmart incident. Come on, Walmart. Um, 
he was going out of town and he wanted me to um go to his house and like take care of his dog feed his dog walk his dog or whatever and we were cool so i didn't really mind that what kind of dog he had was a big dog little dog put it was a medium dog it wasn't it wasn't bad his dog was nice I did that one. Remember, I did that. I helped my, one of my other best friends out by watching his man's dog, and I still have the scar from when that dog pulled that motherfucking leash and pulled my fucking arm, and that bitch didn't pay me all the money that he was supposed to pay me. I'm going down the street. I'm still mad about that. And you need to get your money. I still he owes me like ten dollars out of the hundred and twenty <laughs> that he paid. Come on, ten dollars. That's a Taco Bell meal. Anyway, um, so. But he didn't tell me this until like the last minute. So it was like the night before he was leaving. He texted me at like 10 o'clock at night. Like, I need you to come meet me so that you can, you know, come to my house so that you can get my key. And da, 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 da. And I'm like, nigga, I'm in the bed at home. And at the time I was living with my parents. And y'all know, black. You can't just walk, you out, can't your just walk out your parents' house at no 10 o'clock. So, where you going? Bitch, where you going? I where don't you remember. Going? Where they going to be at? It ain't Friday. Ain't you ain't going listen, to the club. Listen, and more listen. I don't remember what I said or how I got out the house, but I did. And uh, I might have just told the truth and been like, my friend's going out of time. to go get his key so I can feed his dog. I probably did tell the truth. Um, so I, I drove from Sugar Land. And Sugar people, Land who, by itself. people who don't live in Houston consult a map. Sugar Land is like. I drove from Sugar Land. That's another city. To the Walmart in Meyerland. Bitch. Bitch. That's a 45 minute drive It wasn't that far Cause I just took Maine all the way But okay. it was far enough But it's still far I mean I guess It, it wasn't was right nighttime. around the corner Right 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 You could just get there But no. Nah. So I get there And I'm waiting And you know I do not like to wait You waiting people. When you try to come, You got me out of my bed To come And you got me wait. You should have been there When you told you me You got me waiting No Fantasia oh, Had goodness. me waiting And you know you know I'm impatient when it comes to other living creatures. Yes, yes. Most specifically, not humans. his friends. <laughs> not my friends. Not most of my friends. Not my close friends. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and ain't but three of us that can get away with him Listen, with being late. It's about five of y'all in the room. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Um, hey Nikki. <laughs> she gonna kill me. <laughs> and, and so he had me out there waiting and I'm texting and I'm calling and all of a sudden he stopped answering and you know oh my god not the ignoring That's and I'm like and I'm out of my comfortable bed and you know how much I love my motherfucking bed mm. at night time mm. and I had to go to work the next morning oh, no. um, my dog would have been eating air pudding for three days so let me stop I was like, okay. So after a few minutes, you know, and it don't, I don't have the patience. Right. I left. I got my ass right back on Main and hit it right the fuck back to Sugarland. And so when I'm halfway back home, then he starts responding. Bitch. Oh, you know, I'm on my way, and I'm, I'm like, I was like, you can be on your way. I'm hopefully somebody at Walmart will watch a dog because I'm on my way back home, mm-hmm. and I'm not turning back around. You tried the fuck out of that. I don't know what you're going to do. Good luck. Have a nice flight or, or drive or whatever the fuck you're doing. I hope that your dog is still alive when you get back. I mm-hmm. hope that they have food and water and walk and shelter and all that good shit. But it won't be from me. But it won't be from me. <laughs> it won't. <laughs> not I. Hmm. I not. So, um, and usually I don't mind that stuff from a friend, but because he wasn't answering his phone, I was like, let me tell you how, let me, t- let me count Why the ways you got that, me fucked though? up. If you want me to do something for you and you can't answer the phone, what the fuck? Right. If I, if I'm like, you could have texted me or called me been and like, been like, hey, I'm running late. I'm running late. I got something going on. Right. Bitch, I'm sorry. I will be there in like 15 minutes, even right. though I'm 35 minutes away. I'm on the way. Just give me a few more minutes. Exactly. Oh, Anything. But to just. Trust me, I have done that many times. All of a sudden, stop answering. Not to an- You already know how I feel about people ignoring me anyway. You know. And I'm like, it ain't like we hooking up and you decide, you change your mind or the, the water not running clear. Like, I'm doing you a favor. All you got to do is bring me the fucking key. Right. So, that was that. And so, you know, I was. Strike I was one. Hotter than fish grease. Grease, grease, grease. grease. Fish shot. And I'm talking about at the high temperature. Boiling grease. I was mad. If for no other reason, because you know I don't like to have my time wasted. wasted right. I don't like having my that time makes sense. wasted. Nobody wants their time Especially wasted. Especially by my friends. Like, right. come on. 
We friends. You should do me better than that. I ain't no regular ass piece of shit nigga from the street. So, strike two and three were, I found out he had a connection to my past. Mm. Come on, Mm. past connection. Mm. And for this part, um, my friend Dion, this is the part where you need to pay attention because I I mentioned this. Um, So... Going Dion. I found out that this guy from this story was dating the roommate guy from episode four, the friend episode. When I uh, remember I met the guy and then right. I saw his roommate and me right. and his roommate got cool. Right. They were dating. Mm. And I was like, because it's like we said earlier, it's, it's, a, small it's a, world. a small world. It's a small gay world after all. It's, it's a, a small, small wonder. Oh shit! Sorry. I think I'm back to small wonder with the motherfucking robot little girl. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, she was not cute. I used to love that show. Anyway, um, so you know, I found out that they were dated for the for the sake of this episode. I'm gonna call that old roommate from episode four Maurice. And so okay. this guy was dating Maurice, and I was like, I don't care. But he was just going on and on. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, we do so many, so many things. Oh, and you Major know, I can let my side. freak flag fry, fly, fry, I bet you fry and fly. Flying that freak flag today. And oh. I was like, I don't give a shit. Fuck your. Flag. I don't want you. Fuck Vine, bitch. Fuck the family. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was like, I don't care. And I was like, and I don't appreciate you trying to rub this shit in my face, cause nigga, I don't want you. So I don't know what you're doing. Like, I don't care. Why do people do that? Bitch, I don't want you. I don't if I, want if you. I wanted if I you, wanted you, when you first told me you was dating somebody, I would have hung up the phone in your face and be like, "Fuck you, ho!" With if your I bitch wanted ass. you, I'd have been with your pissy ass. If I wanted you, I'd have been at your house the night before you was going out of town, and keys. I'd have gotten. I would have already had a key. I would have had a key. If we gonna be completely honest, Cause, bitch, we get keys. We get keys. I got keys. the keys. The keys. The keys. The keys. The keys. Shit. Major key. Hmm. So. I'm just like, I don't give a shit, nigga. Like, what the fuck? Fuck you and your mama too, well. Let me stop. That's it. And, you know, I was just looking at, like, you can't be missing out on something that you never wanted. Never wanted. Like, I don't understand why you don't understand that, but that's not my concern. So, you know, and I let him know. I was like, I don't care about you dating him. I will say he and I have history. But, you know, if y'all are happy together, then that's that's fine. I don't give a shit come on history lessons today how the fuck ever then i found out that maurice the roommate from episode four is talking shit about me to this dude my friend he had a completely different story about what happened between us and how i was such a terrible person and i was trash and all this other shit and i'm just like huh I was like, so not only did you try to play me by trying to talk to my friend while I was dealing with the death of my grandmother, mm-hmm. then years later, you're going to come back and try to tell somebody else that I was trash. I was like, you tried the everlasting fuck out of now, this. Now, who was this talking about my friend being trash? The roommate. Because guess what, roommates? I got your fucking number, ho. <laughs> Don't you do my friend. It's going to come full circle. Keep with me. Stay I'm, with me. I'm, I'm there. I, I can remember the story. I'm just saying. Bitch, I still so, got your fucking number in 2017. Oh. So I had to let the my friend know. I was like, everything that your boo is telling you is 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 a lie. Like, that all that shit is trash. It's a lie. <laughs> you have been boozled. You have been hoodwinked. In the case. You silly bitch. If you listen to this dumbass hoe, that is a lie. I got the papers to prove it. So those two incidents together, I was like, you know what? I actually don't have time for this. I don't have time for this. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna let I'm you gonna go. Bid you well, sail on. You had to cut it. Sail on. Cut it. Sail on. Cut it. Sail on. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. The price is too high. You need to cut it. So good. Sail You need to cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. You see how them two go together? That was like a cool. So good. Cut it. <laughs> Cut it. 
I don't know what's going on right now. <laughs> <laughs> we are really feeling this brown. Feeling this brown. We feeling this brown. We feeling it. We feeling this brown. We feeling this brown. We feeling this feeling this feeling this brown. We feeling this brown. We feeling it. Feeling this brown. We feeling this brown. Okay. I'm gonna be stopped. Yeah, we're having a good time. Okay, so back to the story. So I I washed my hands of the situation. I was done. So years later, years later, after I finally got on Twitter, because you know, remember I was late to Twitter, right? Um, somehow he finds me on Twitter. Bitch, what you finding me on Twitter for? Why? Why is this a thing? Find Find your mama. He finds me on Twitter. He follows me. Find your daddy, because we know you don't know where that hoe at. He was African, so he knew exactly. His daddy was right there. Was right there on, on his, his neck. <laughs> Talk about um, who is these? Like <laughs> 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 I hate this nigga across from me, y'all. Sorry. I love him to death, but I hate oh, shit. him. Sorry, y'all. I done dropped my iPad. <laughs> dropped the iPad. <laughs> it is too much going on today. We're having too much fun in this episode. <laughs> So he finds me on Twitter. We follow each other. We DM a little bit. So a couple of days later, he DMs me. And he says, he was like, oh, you something to the effect of, you know, you real funny and everything, but you way too vulgar and you cuss too much. So I'm going to have to unfollow. And I was like, bitch, bye. Boy, bye. bye. What's your ugly ass? Boy, bye. I was like, I don't give a fuck. This was back in my Coon Loaf days, I believe. Oh, okay. So you was real with it. Because, <laughs> you know, when he was Coon Loaf, that was the shit. My friend was like, fuck all y'all, my <laughs> True. I hope they hold them hoes follow me because I'm going to offend every last one of them hoes. I don't have it out with nobody. No, but I was saying, when you was Coon Loaf, that's when you did your majority of the, your Maya Angelou tweets. And, oh, um, yeah. I rise. Hashtag. I must bring that back one day. Bring, text me before you bring it back <laughs> so I can be on Twitter that day. <laughs> Because y'all know I spend most of my time on Twitter on my other page. Mm-hmm. Booty. Booty, booty, booty. Ah. So, you know, I was real done with that. So, um, my breakdown from that was, you know, my fellow gays, um, lesbians, bisexuals, and transsexuals, oh, yeah. and queer, and everyone else Straight. up under this rainbow flag. Even if you're not under the rainbow flag. Learn even if you're this. not. Because, you know, and that's a good thing I think about our show is that even though it's gay shit... It shit, because we live, we don't live any different from the rest of y'all. You guys can relate to this kind of shit. Oh, mm, I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling my. So, um, basically, everyone follow my lead and don't get bogged down with the man that's torn between his sexuality and his religion because you will more than likely get hung out to dry somehow, some way. Also, you can't really do the work for someone. You can be there for them and you can try to help them through whatever the fuck they're going through, but you can't do it for them. And if they're not going through it, if they're not going to do the work, there's not really much you can do. And you have to decide if it's worth being friends with someone from your past that you aren't really on good terms with. Because the, if the person is talking shit, I think it's okay to go gonna go on that ass and kick the door down and smack that trick. I'm not condoning violence. I'm just saying because I don't think I had it. I think by that time I was over the shit with the roommates, you know, AKA Maurice. But the fact that you was talking shit about me behind my back really took the cake. Um, and another thing, another thing, thing and this is where friend you come into play. This is just to highlight how truly raggedy Maurice slash that roommate from episode four. Go back and listen to the What About Your Friends episode, y'all. What about your friends? Will they stand their ground? Will they let you down again? What about you? What about your friends? (laughs) This is why we can't be a singer. Because we both think we're the singer and we both can't sing. Listen. Feel down, oh, I wanna have a crazy. You, your voice is not deep enough. Never, never, never. No, you <laughs> should. <laughs> no, let me tell you this why. Not changed, but why yesterday I, I was making fun of Marlo and I was like, Candy, how um are you gay? <laughs> Marlo from Housewives. I don't watch that. Really okay, don't. anyway, let me get back to the end of this story. So. 
to highlight how raggedy Maurice was, one year, Chelshire convinced me to go to the club for my birthday. I did, which is hard it to do. It was Club 2020. We and anybody that knows me knows that I cannot fucking stand he, 2020. He can't stand any club. I mean, I don't really like clubs, but 2020 just it's really like, grinds my fucking. Was it the night I had? On, I think I had on camo that night. I think it was like a few of us that day too. No, I don't think so. I think it was just us. Well, if we went to 2020, we were probably at Martinis. Honestly, you we were at 2020. 2020. Okay. And you were drunk as fuck. It was my birthday. And you were tapping everybody, telling them to tell me happy birthday. Because I do that. Because you do that. I do that all the time. And most people did. And they will. We got to Maurice. He was there at the club. And you was like, tell my friend happy birthday. Because I was drunk as fuck. And he looked at me and looked at you and flat out was like, he was zip a mouth. Emoji. Oh, are we gonna be quiet? Are we not he, gonna tell my friend happy birthday? We really him, not. Listen to him react in the same way years later that he did in the <laughs> club. When I tell y'all, and I didn't care, but when I, because I did, the bitch. way my friends are, bitch, you gonna tell my fucking friend happy birthday? Listen, home. y'all are hearing the same reaction in in real time because that's did exactly that? how you react. Oh well, shit, because uh, you know I'm good for. A when I tell club. you, he was so pissed. He was literally ready to. I had to drag you away because oh. you was about to swing. I was ready to swing. Let's you was literally about. And I want to wanna find him today and be like, bitch, you better tell my friend happy birthday <laughs> from five years ago. How about it? Tell I'm this bitch sure happy birthday. Five. It was probably more than five, but whatever time it was, you didn't tell him happy birthday. So will you still owe him a motherfucking happy birthday, ho? So that's just trash because I'm like, I never did anything to you, so bitch So why you can't tell my friend happy birthday with your and bitch ass? you can't tell me happy birthday you after you was talking trash to me, uh, talking trash about me to this nigga that I did not want. I'm just like, like oh, you are really a trash. And the thing about it is Maurice you know was older. Let's find him. We can. Oh, we can. Let's go. He's to, on. He's on A for A. And he's probably on tw- at twenty twenty Saturday. He's on A for A. Do we need to go to twenty twenty Saturday? No, we I don't. Will, we don't I need to go to we, go. I will go to that club and I will make him tell you happy birthday twenty times. Because you remember, <laughs> remember that one year I made everybody I was like, I've already told you happy birthday. I don't care, bitch. You gonna tell, tell me happy birthday again? <laughs> Listen. Listen, I was walking like people was giving me money and yes, shit. Yes, they were. Because that's what I do. You gonna tell my friend happy birthday? You gonna give him a dollar? <laughs> Listen, I was getting money. <laughs> I was like, mm-hmm, I can get me lunch. At so work to this book week. me for your birthday, just uh, <laughs> send a message send an to Chelshire at gmail.com <laughs> or also gayside stories at gmail.com. At, at the message country. will get to him, right? So, you know, that was that was my story with the Baptist Bay. I just, Baptist bitches. I guess I didn't, and you know, let me go back and highlight. Because I didn't highlight it at the time, but he was real heavy into church. Heavy. And he was African. Heavy, heavy. Not so heavy on me. <laughs> you used to be a lot and free. I don't even know the words. I don't know me. <laughs> <laughs> we are trash. Trash. <laughs> so, yeah, he was real heavy in church and he was African and everything was about his family and da 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 And he was like, oh, you know, I go to Bible Fuck study fine, bitch. and all this other shit. And I'm just like, all that is great, but you still want to put my dick in your mouth. So I'm just confused. I'm a little confused, but you know what? That's not my cross to bear. Apropos. So... Again, if you have someone that you're dating and they are into church, if they're religious, that's fine. That's fine. But if you have one of these, that's like, well, you know, I mean. Because I remember talking to somebody and their whole thing was homosexuality was a sin and this and this. But but it's not a sin when I do it. But they were like, I would never see myself with a man for the rest of my life. I've been married Only before. for the rest of tonight. <laughs> I've been married before and I have an ex-wife and this is, bitch, you still fucking niggas. So, um, and you cheating on this nigga you probably talking to. They're with other niggas. Therefore, bitch, as Mimi would say, bitch. Who's um, Mimi? From uh, Her Love of Hip Hop because you know Her Love of Hip Hop comes back on the day oh, before the show. I don't watch that. The day before the show airs. Um, Shit, you sitting around here doing all this extra 
And, and you, they, they're always the ones doing it. That's what I say. You need to watch. If they are genuinely a religious person, they like going to church, that's fine. hallelujah, all of that, that's fine. That's right. But if they one of them, homosexuality is sin, but I'm going to bend over. I've already fleeted for you, bae. Mm. Them the type you need to stay away from watch because they be full of shit. Back. Watch back your back. Watch. And wash it also, too, and as well. Thanks. Shut up. Shut up. Oh, we already went through yeah. that. <laughs> Hashtag a good rinse. I'm just te- I'm just saying, rinse it out. Rinse it, rinse it, rinse it. So, I think that concludes our episode for today. Okay. Um, you have any other parting words before we get out of here? I don't have any party parting words. I'm drunk, y'all. Have it, have it. But and I'm about to go give me something to eat because I'm hungry and I wish I stayed by Chachos because like the way I feel right now, I really want some nachos, some shredded beef nachos. And you know good what they ain't gonna have no damn shredded beef. Right. You know <laughs> they how they do me no every time and I be every ready time. to flip the motherfucking restaurant apart. Okay guys, you can <laughs> subscribe at SoundCloud, iTunes, Stitcher, or Google Play Music. Sure, yeah. Please do us a favor and rate and comment on the episodes. It helps with our visibility. Don't forget to share. Mm-hmm. Don't forget to share. Share on. Sharing is caring. You know, retweet on caring Twitter. You know, re. Is re whatever is on sharing. Instagram. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Re whatever on Instagram. Re whatever. <laughs> share on whatever they call it. Retweet, repost, reblog. There you go. Hey. Yes. <laughs> that was nice. That was, was really so great. Smooth. My drug mind don't be playing games. Listen. Um, if you guys have a gay side story or some wisdom to share, See general comments, or even if you have a suggestion for a show topic, you can send those to us at gaysidestories at gmail.com. You can follow us on social media. We are on Instagram and Twitter. You can like us on Facebook and you can find us on Tumblr. On Tumblr, we are the gay side stories dot Tumblr dot com. Um, sometimes I, I post the stuff that I post on uh on Instagram. OK, so there's stuff yeah, on okay. the Tumblr. Yeah. But yeah, we need to do something with that. Yeah. But anyway, we would love to hear you guys stories. We would love to hear you guys, period. That too. Um, just let us know you're just out there. Just let us know you're out there. You know. We know y'all listening because we see the numbers and how right. we appreciate it. But talk to us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we love y'all, like for real. Yeah. And we want to we want to hear y'all stories too, right? Because I'm sure you know the thing. I, the, the vision that I have is that you know we get people telling us some of their stuff because there's tons of stuff that happens out there that we don't go we don't go through. Because bitch, we be at the house chilling. Mm-hmm. We learned. But we have stories for y'all. Don't but get it even twisted. in the house, don't get right. it twisted. It's shit can shit, still happen to you when you're trying to chill in a motherfucking house. Anyway, um, again, go to GaySideStories.com for more information. Under the extras header, you can find a link to Barchell Shire, where you can see all of the drinks that we've mm. been having. On, oh shit! Excuse me. That um, that mm, that was coke. Sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> speaking of drinks, that one's coming back up. Um. And there's also a link to the Trill Minds blog, so right. Where uh, you can read about this, the happenings of the in our community. Right. Um, oh, I'm gonna start back uh, right down now when I get a charger. Yay! So that way we can talk about pop issues. Okay. I'm... All right, y'all. A new segment coming soon. Right, damn now. Damn now. Right. I mean, it's already there. All you gotta do is start typing again. <laughs> well, you need to start typing again. I know, but I don't have a charger for my computer and that's a whole nother that was story. a whole other story anyway you can find me on most social media you can find me you can email me if you just want to talk if you want some advice or if you have some things you know you want to give me a school in life or if you have an article that i could put on my trail minds blog you can email me at trivialificent at gmail.com i'm on twitter i'm on instagram you can snapchat me send me stuff um, and I'm on Tumblr, and I think I have a Periscope because it's techni- connected yeah, to my Twitter. Twitter. Yeah, you have one. I'm all of the places. Yes, you are. Send me stuff. You can, you know, you can Snapchat me stuff. I, you know, I've been trying to do better at being on social media because you know sometimes social. I'd be like, I'm mm. a social butterfly. I'm more like a social. What are they before they are a caterpillar? An egg? No, that's know. not right. Why I don't not? know what they. Larva is, it, is a larva. Is Isn't it, that still an egg? Yeah. No. I mean, it's like larva, caterpillar, and then it's like 
category. Well, I'm thinking about Pokemon. I'm about to say <laughs> Butterfree. <laughs> Where can they find you? Because we trash. Um, y'all can actually find me anywhere by just typing in, in Shell Shire. It is C H E L S H I R E. That's I'm not Shell spelling my Shire. shit this week. I've had shots. You're not gonna get me spelling wrong but this week. On Instagram is Shell Shire underscore. On Snapchat it's Jamie, and my mama spelled my name right. It's J A Y M E underscore Shell Shire. We have to figure that out because yeah. I saw somebody on. I was watching. HGTV, somebody's name was spelled the way yours was. J A Y M E. Come mm-hmm. on, your mama spelled it right too. He had it on the back of his shirt. You have to when your name is spelled right. You make sure people can mm-hmm. see it. That's that That's is enough. true. But that is true. But you can right, find me y'all. everywhere. It's Chelshire. <laughs> Tumblr, Instagram with the underscore, mm-hmm. Twitter, Periscope. That's where I normally be at. If you yeah, want to just ABM talk to me, Periscope. You can just talk to me. I really just like to have fun. So if you need, if you if you're having a bad day, hit me up. I am good for yes. cheering up. You a can bad hit day. either so one like, of us up. Like I'm, really, I'm usually on Twitter and I, Instagram. If you hit me on Twitter, I'll probably respond. But I don't be on Twitter like I used to be. I'm trying to get back into it, but I don't know where I'm at. Yeah, me neither. Like I lost my whole Twitter thing. Like I me forgot too. how to tweet. Me too. But yeah, yeah, it helps when there's like something going on. Right, and you could but tweet I haven't about. been seeing what's going on because I ain't been reading that Twitter. Page. No, no, no. I mean, like a sh- like I, I, what I started doing is um Last on week. TGIT. Okay. So I would tweet like during Scandal yeah. and How to Get Away with Murder. And I don't see, watch, I Grey's watch Anatomy. everything because you know I be watching uh motherfucking all the trash TV shows, mm-hmm. but I just watch it later than everybody because I be oh, at work, yeah. so I you miss it, work. and you then I might get, get on work. Periscope, and, you know, people will come in. So, basically, find him on Periscope if you want to interact with Chillshire. You find me on Twitter or Instagram if you want to interact with me, and also, you can email either one of us at right. our individual emails or, or at gaysidestories.com. Gay we'll respond. I mean, at gmail.com. At gmail.com, yeah. Sure, yes. I mean, you can go to gig.com too. There's yeah. a contact link. Yeah, you can always go there. Okay, let's wrap this up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, you have any final parting words? No final parting words. We're actually pretty good today. All right. So, in conclusion, conclusion in. I will say, hey. because there's been a lot going on, trans lives matter. They do. Trans lives matter. And my parting motto, as always, Protect your walls. Protect your house walls and your boy walls. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. Y'all have a good night.